In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily create process flowcharts and diagrams using ChatGBT. I'm going to show you how to prompt, I'm going to show you what softwares to use that are totally free, and I'm going to show you how to do this as easily and quickly as possible. So right here is an example of what we're going to be working towards during this video. And as you see here, this is just a process flowchart for restaurant food creation or a service process. And it's pretty well done. And I was able to create this in under 30 seconds using ChatGBT. So I'm going to show you how to recreate this. And there's a couple things that we need to do here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring over my ChatGBT window. And I'm also going to launch BridgeMind AI. Okay, so now I have my ChatGBT window opened up. And I am going to log into my BridgeMind account real quick. So I've logged into BridgeMind and I'm now going to search for a flowchart prompt and one that's going to help us be able to write this prompt. So here's a flowchart prompt. And as you can see here, this prompt is pre-built. And I'm going to put this prompt down in the description below so that you can access it. But what makes it really nice is that on BridgeMind, rather than having to type out your prompts manually, they allow you to go in and just click the edit button up here and be able to put in the variables for a particular prompt. So they call it prompting with purpose because these prompts are totally pre-built for users to be able to go in, understand the instructions, understand what's needed by the prompt, and to then be able to enter their variables and their data. And it's gonna give you basically a perfect flowchart so now using this prompt and using ChatGPT4 or ChatGPT3.5, I'm going to show you the two different ways to be able to create a process flowchart or diagram using ChatGPT using this prompt and using a specialized GPT called Whimsical Diagrams. So you, there are basically two use cases. If you are a paid subscriber of ChatGPT, you have access to the GPT store and you have access to a very particular GBT called Whimsical Diagrams. And this GBT is very popular for creating diagrams. So all you have to do is go over to the GPT store and look up Whimsical Diagrams. And you're going to be able to find this prompt fairly easily as it has over 400,000 conversations. So a lot of people are using this specialized GPT and you're going to see why. So clicking on this GPT now, we can see some of the reviews, the ratings. We're going to start a chat with this GPT. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to create the entire flowchart and diagram for us based off of our prompt. So we're going to use basically a blend of the prompt engineering software over here and a specialized GPT to create the best prompt possible. So to show you an example of this, I have just generated a um, analysis process of something that I want to turn into a, a diagram or a flowchart. So here it is over here. As you can see here, this is just a good example so that you can see what kind of things you can do. So if you want to use this prompt, you can just input whatever data or whatever process flow that you are trying to analyze. But I just generated one in ChatGPT that basically breaks down the journey of a meal from kitchen to table. But I just copied this and now I'm going to go back over here and I'm just going to paste this in as the analysis input variable. So now that this is in there, I need to establish the flowchart goal, which is to generate a well formatted structured flowchart based off of the analysis input. And for the design preference, I'm going to say that I want to have it be a downward flowchart. Um, key step, um, I'm going to leave this blank because I do not need to enter anything, anything for it right now. There's nothing that I want to highlight, but this variable would could be used if you want to highlight a particular part of the process that you want to focus on. But for this, I'm not even going to put anything in, and that's okay. So I'm going to save it. And here you can see that this data has now all been entered in to the prompt. So everything that we entered is now in the prompt, and all I have to do is go down and click copy. And now that it's copied, I can go over here to my GPT and just paste it right in. And this is all pasted in. So I'm going to send this off, and it's going to analyze this prompt and be able to generate a flowchart 
based off of the prompt. So it's already starting its action. And what this GPT does is it communicates with the servers at whimsical.com because they are the ones that have created this GPT and it creates the diagram that you will then be able to edit over on their software. And it's completely free, which is great. So if you do have the free version of ChatGPT, I would highly recommend upgrading if you haven't already. It is definitely worth the $20 because you get really powerful GPTs like this one, which allows you to really just do a lot more with ChatGPT. So as you can see here, we're starting a custom action based off of our prompt, and this is communicating with whimsical.com, and it's going to now return a custom flowchart. Here it says I've created a flowchart to outline the process, and here is our flowchart that we've created just from pasting in the analysis that we have. So what the prompt allowed us to do is it allowed us to basically create a much better flowchart. So you can see here that using that prompt and using the Whimsical Diagram GPT, we were able to create this over in Whimsical. So after clicking view or edit this in Whimsical, it launches this other page. And now you can actually go into whimsical.com and be able to edit the flowchart. So over here, you have access to being able to customize any of these. You can customize any of the shapes that you want. You can customize the transparency. You can customize the color. You can customize all sorts of different things. So Whimsical GPT is a great GPT to be able to use because you don't even have to access any software. All you have to do is access the GPT and prompt it correctly. So over here, just kind of checking the work, you can see that it did do this correctly. We dropped in our analysis and it created a downward flow flowchart of the entire process flow of the journey of a meal from kitchen to table. So now that we've gone over this, I'm now going to go over the free version if you are a free user because it's a little bit different. So instead of using Whimsical, we are going to use the generic chat GPT 3.5 if, because that's all you have access to if you're a free user. But there is a good way to be able to create these even if you are a free user. So I'm gonna relaunch the prompt here. And I'm just going to paste in the same things that I pasted in. So for the analysis input, I'm gonna paste in the analysis again. Here we go, I'm gonna take this over here. So I'm gonna copy this again. But this time for my key step and my design preference, I'm actually going to input what I want it to output it as. So create a downward flowchart. Design preference, I'm going to enter. I want you to output this in mermaid code. So mermaid code is just a way of formatting this so that we can enter it into a different software at draw.io to be able to create our flowchart. And for the key step highlight, I'm actually going to say phase three. So for the key step highlight, I said phase three is very important. Make sure that it is broken down properly. And I'm going to save this prompt. And again, it's going to have entered all of our data into the prompt that we can just copy. And now I'm going to paste the prompt in and I'm going to also add to it. Ensure that your output is in mermaid code. So what this is going to do is it's going to output this in a format that we can then use on draw.io. So draw.io, I'm going to launch a new browser here. So here's Whimsical. I'm going to launch draw.io. And draw.io is a free software to be able to enter flowcharts and data based like this. So here's an example that I was working on from a previous video. But what we're going to do is we are actually going to, I'm going to launch an incognito tab so that you can see if you are a first time user of the software, here's what you're going to see. It's going to say save diagrams to, and I'm going to decide this later. But what this software does is it enables you to be able to paste in mermaid code, which is what we got this outputted as, and create diagrams based off of mermaid code. So now that I have this entered, all I have to do is enter the plus here and go down to advanced and go to mermaid. Once you click on mermaid, you can just copy this and paste in the mermaid code that you got from ChatGPT and insert this. And now, as you can see, this created a downward flow flowchart of our process. And as you can see, it even focused on phase three of creating the meat standards and it created a kind of a specialized, you know, goes back to the meal preparation, does a quality check. If it doesn't meet the, the, the standards, then it goes back. So you can see that from our prompt, it was able to focus on the 
the phase that we kind of outlined in our prompt. So these are just two easy ways to create flow charts and diagrams using ChatGPT. Again, we used BridgeMind AI software, we used Whimsical Diagrams GPT, and we used Draw.io. And all this information is going to be down in the description below. But I hope that this helps you and enables you to be able to create really good looking flow charts and diagrams using ChatGPT. And if you want to stay tuned in to more videos and more to come from this channel, please feel free to subscribe and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.